Hey guys, Ivan here. Welcome to another video. In this video, we have a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates and we are starting with this one. As you can see, Samson Dauda with his most recent physique update. And in this video, we can kind of get the idea of where his conditioning is right now at five weeks out. And maybe we can kind of guess where his conditioning is going to be at the Arnold Classic. I could be wrong, but I feel like his conditioning right now at 5 weeks out of Arnold Classic is not that much different than it was at the Mr. Olympia, at the show. I think it's pretty comparable or the same, maybe even better in some areas in his chest and I think I saw the same thing in his legs in his previous update. But as you can see right here, his chest is pretty separated, pretty dry and pretty hard. Samson Daura is definitely one of the favorites to win this show. I mean, he was beaten by Nick Walker and Big Ramy at the Mr. Olympia, and he potentially can be beaten by much improved Andrew Jack and potentially Sean Clarida. So there are those five guys who can potentially win the show depending on how on they are, how well they peak. And there are some other guys, like for example, Kim Williams, who might sneak in into the top 5 if the other guys are off. For example, I think there is big likelihood that Big Ram is going to be completely off. But, you know, maybe Samson too is going to be off. You never know how well these guys are going to peak. Peak week mistakes happen to everybody. And we'll see how consistent with conditioning Samson Dauda is. Nick Walker is somebody who has proven to us that he is very consistent with conditioning. He never failed so far, not once. So I think he is the heavy favorite to win the show. Sean Clarida also rarely ever fails. And Samson Dauda is somebody who is not really known for conditioning. Like, he probably brought the best conditioning this year at the Mr. Olympia that we ever saw so far. But he was not one of the most conditioned guys, not by any stretch. However, he was arguably the guy with the best shape. And shape might be something that is rewarded, that is appreciated more at the Arnold Classic, mainly because of Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I think shape is something that is being more rewarded these days everywhere. So maybe this year is going to be that year where the judges actually start rewarding the shape. And if Samson improves his conditioning a little bit, as you can see, his glutes could have definitely been sharper. And also his back and I mean, his entire physique would have been a little bit more conditioned. So if his conditioning is a little bit better, a little bit tighter, and he brings his very, very good shape that he is known for, he actually has a really good chance of winning that show. And once again, in this new, most recent video, you can see that his conditioning at 5 weeks out is really good. If he keeps getting sharper, and if he maintains that fullness, that roundness that he is known for, that shape, the silhouette, with a little bit better conditioning again, he can easily win the show so in my opinion, he is the guy to challenge Nick Walker, potentially beat him and win the Arnold Classic 2023. What about this guy though, Larry Wills? Now Larry Wills has started focusing on his physique, as he says, this year he wants to focus on his physique, but you guys know that he has been off of the gear for like, I don't know, a year now maybe, and he obviously lost a lot of muscle mass. I mean, of course, it's impossible to maintain all that muscle that he used to have, all that fullness and all that strength, of course, without blasting it like he used to. But his health is not really good, so he decided to go off for a while. And this is what he looks like right now. He's obviously much downsized, way, way smaller. And I'm sure he cannot lift nearly the same poundage that he used to be able to lift. But so he decided to focus on his physique as much as possible. And as you can see here, he's doing this classic pose so if he wanted to compete in bodybuilding in any division obviously he's doing a classic pose so he's entertaining that thought of him potentially competing in classic back when he was on gear he was unable to make the weight in classic but now that he is smaller he potentially could make the weight now uh, can he be competitive in any bodybuilding division? Of course, in open bodybuilding, he would have to be much, much bigger, so definitely a no. And as far as classic physique, 
Maybe he can make the weight cap, but he definitely doesn't have those classic lines, that pretty shape. Uh, I think he could have had it if he didn't do powerlifting and strongman and arm wrestling and whatever he was doing so long. If he always focused on bodybuilding, then maybe, but he tore so many muscles. This bicep, for example, it separated like this because he tore it doing strongman training, uh, lifting a stone. Uh, if he was doing bodybuilding training since he started, then he would probably be a decent classic competitor, but now, you know, switching from powerlifting to classic bodybuilding, it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna look well. I don't know if he actually has aspirations to compete in classic, because he did compete in bodybuilding a long time ago, so I don't know, maybe he's gonna try it, but again, does he have the potential to be a good pro in classic? I think absolutely not. Alright, now this is, however, very, very interesting. Seth Ferrosi posted this video of himself posing, and he says in the caption, I think it's time to call Henry Rambert. As you can see, Chris Bumstead, who is also a client of Henry Rambert, commented, and Honey himself commented, saying, a time to get band back together. So, is this real? Is Seth Ferrosi really gonna compete in 2023? I mean, he did say he's gonna call his coach. And does he look like he can still be competitive in bodybuilding? I think so, absolutely, yes. I was watching his updates lately, he has been posting a lot, and I didn't want to make videos about it because I thought he was retired for sure, but I was thinking, why is he looking this impressive in his retirement? I don't think any bodybuilders are looking this good, like he is doing proper bodybuilding posing, like he's doing all the poses, his conditioning is awesome, he's still freaking massive, he looks like he's improving even. So, is this just for fun, just for himself, or does he actually have aspirations to compete again? I don't know, I'm not so sure, I think he could be just playing around, tagging Henry Rambert and saying that stuff, it doesn't necessarily mean that he's gonna be jumping back on stage, but could he still be competitive in 212? Absolutely. This is not like Phil Heath, not even close. Right now, he looks very competitive. I think in a couple of weeks, he could get shredded and, and, and compete and do well. He could potentially do the Arnold Classic. That's how good he looks right now. And he's retired once again. So if he actually hooked up back with uh, Hunter Ambert and they did an off-season together and then a prep then, I mean, this guy could be really good in 212. I wouldn't be too surprised if he was like top 3 at the Mr. Olympia. I think he was, I think he was placing that high at some point or close to that. So I think he could come back and be really, really competitive in 212 because he does look amazing. I don't think he's really showing any signs of aging. Maybe you can see it a little bit in his back. Maybe his back atrophied a little. Maybe his legs a tiny little bit but it's really not that noticeable, overall his physique does look phenomenal. Now again, do I really think he's gonna come back? I'm not sure, really, I don't know what to think, I'm like 50-50. Whatever you guys think though, tell me down below in the comment section and tell me how do you think he would do in 212 if he decided to compete again? Could he go back to being one of the top 212 guys now, after all this time being retired? What do you think? Whew, I left this one for the end of this video because this looks insane, man. This looks freaking ridiculous. Look at this freaking guy, good Vito. <laughs> Look at this physique. I'm telling you, this is your 2023 breakout star. He won a pro show, actually, he won a pro card last year and he's gonna win a pro show this year for sure. He won a pro card last year, but he didn't want to uh, compete as a pro. He didn't want to have a pro debut first year as he turned pro. He wanted to leave it for next year, for 2023. So this year we're going to see him on a pro stage. And I'm pretty sure this guy can win pretty much any show aside from Olympia and maybe Arnold. But I wouldn't be so sure about that either because, God, he looks phenomenal. I can easily imagine this guy standing next to a uh, Hari Japan and Derek Lunsford and being in that top three because of this ridiculous shape, small, tiny waist, and those freaking like humongous arms and legs. And look at the pop on those lats. And also, he has a pretty good back as well. Like, he's very, very complete. I think it's gonna depend on how good conditioning he brings. 
And now in the caption you can see that he actually translated the caption, but it was originally in Russian. So finally he got, he hooked up with a Russian sponsor. Uh, he was sponsored by a Brazilian a sponsor and he was writing his captions in Portuguese for a while, which was weird. You know, a Russian kid that doesn't speak English, that probably doesn't speak Portuguese, writing captions uh, in Portuguese because he's sponsored by a Brazilian sponsor. It didn't really make a lot of sense. I didn't like it. Now he's obviously working with a sponsor from Russia, and he says right here, straight from Russia, so that, that makes sense, that's definitely a better idea for him. But aside from that, his physique right now looks so insane, man, this is so ridiculous, I have no idea which show he's gonna do, but, I mean, if he has a right coach, if he brings good conditioning, if he peaks well, and if he keeps progressing the way he was progressing so far, which I'm sure he will do, I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, remember my words, this guy is going to be top 3 at the Mr. Olympia. I think he has that kind of potential, you know, physique-wise, genetics-wise. I think he has probably more potential than Nick Walker. Not to mention, like, these new guys that are coming right now, like uh, Krizio, for example, and, and guys like that. I think Gudvito is comparable to Hari Chupan and to Derek Lansford, and I think he can beat guys like uh, Nick Walker, because he looks just as massive, and if he brings that conditioning that, that Nick is bringing, and he's in this freaking... Sh I mean, if he, if he has this freaking shape, this silhouette, this tiny, tiny waist... Crazy popping lats, big arms, big forearms, humongous legs, a crazy, crazy uh, quad sweep, lateralis, look at that quad sweep, I mean, his legs are so sweepy, Nick doesn't have this, he does not have this silhouette, this shape, so I think it's only a matter of time when this guy is gonna be top 3 at the Mr. Olympia, potentially even win the Mr. Olympia, I think this guy has like an insane amount of potential like this is one of the most impressive physiques with the most potential in the world i think he has the most potential in the world right now from all the bodybuilders that i know that's my opinion whatever you guys think tell me down below if you disagree you can tell me down below if you agree however you can also tell me that like this video if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more bodybuilding content like this subscribe to my channel guys thank you so much for watching all the best and bye bye